Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew and welcome back to Taito Ecology. In the last episode, we actually placed a big herd of bison in here and I'm hoping that they survived. Oh, okay, there's one. So we know at least one survived. Um, I mean, there's just so many notifications up there that I'm kind of worried that we may have uh, <laughs> destroyed our little biome here. So let's check this out. Um, a group of pronghorn antelope have low population, but it doesn't look like they died out yet. Some of the prairie dogs died. Um, I don't don't see our wolves on this list, so that's good. Um, I believe I need to go into the options and turn our um, our territory markers back on. There we go. <laughs> when I was taking pictures after the last episode, I apparently forgot to put those back on. So maybe that's why I was so worried. It kind of seemed uh, like our biome was extremely empty for a moment, but it's not so. That is not uh, not the way it is. And it looks like our wolves are still alive. Yay! <laughs> and they're still uh, pretty full at the moment, so it doesn't seem like they're going to be starving anytime soon like they did in uh, the previous episode. That was very, very very sad but our bison seem to be doing uh, quite well too so where is the bison territory oh wait a second maybe they're not uh oh oh no is that the only guy left that is the only bison oh no this poor guy he is the lone bison in this big rolling grasslands biome oh no <laughs> well we're going to have to fix that um i guess we'll add in another group of bison right next to him so he can have a little bit of company because we don't want him to be all alone by himself in here i guess that means that the wolves ate them all away i mean i was kind of worried about that because um, the wolves, I, I think they're the only predators in here who can actually take down a bison right now, right? I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Um, the wolves seem to eat quite a bit though, so that's why I was a little bit concerned. So let's place another group of bison down there so our poor little lone bison will have some company here. <laughs> and um, it seems like he has enough to eat, right? Yeah, his hunger is definitely full, so that's good to see too, because I wanted to make sure that our bison were um, eating properly. Whoa! Oh no! As soon as we brought in some friends for our bison, he got taken down by our pack of wolves. Oh my goodness, these two just uh, destroyed our bison friend. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> it's the circle of life, though. It was bound to happen eventually, I suppose. So let's see. Our jackrabbits also have low population. Um, what zone was that in? Zone 1. Of course. It's always zone 1, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll have to add in some more uh, jackrabbits over there, too, to properly replenish the area. And then what I wanted to take a look at in this episode were um, some of the other large predators. We are only missing two predators in the grasslands biome the coyote and the cougar so i think it might be a uh, pretty good idea to unlock one of these guys in this episode but we're going to have to find a way to uh, sustain them properly i guess if our gray wolves our six gray wolves are strong enough and hungry enough to take down an entire herd of a uh, bison then maybe we need to uh rethink our plan for the other guys too <laughs> might be a good idea these jackrabbits are also having a little bit of trouble which is kind of surprising um we don't seem to have very good luck taking care of jackrabbits but let's see um again i'm having that issue turning <laughs> the camera at the moment so i apologize if um it's a little bit herky jerky at the moment but we are going to try our hardest to turn over here and uh, take a look at our other zones it seems like the deer mice are still spreading right now which is a little bit unfortunate oh no oh no i see all of those little deer mice in the grass i see them they are taking over once again this hill has been swarmed by deer mice oh no oh no are those jackrabbits uh-oh Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, um, new plan, guys. I think we're going to introduce one of our predators right here, and hopefully they will also take care of the jackrabbits. Um, maybe a cougar? Do you think the cougar would be likely to pick off the jackrabbits? Or the coyote? Hmm, this is a hard one. Um, I know they're probably not going to deal with the mice, 
but we need something to control this because this is this is getting out of hand. <laughs> and it's funny because I just said that we're having so much trouble uh, controlling or keeping our jackrabbits alive rather, and now they're just completely out of hand in zone two. Who would have thought that that would be a problem of all things? So let's unlock the cougar right now. We certainly have enough title coins to do it. Um, and this consumer can eat tough life forms, which is always nice to know. So we'll place our cougar territory right here. Um, the cougar can certainly interact with a lot of our creatures. So I think uh, this is going to be quite an experiment. We'll see if this is enough to sustain the cougars, if they can possibly live off of jackrabbits because they have plenty of jackrabbits to eat right here. <laughs> Let's uh, actually see if we can click on the biodex. I think uh, we'll have to go through this way because the biodex button is not currently working at the moment. But a uh, cougar is right here, not hard to find at all. So let's see what their diet is like. Cougars are meat-eating carnivores who are partial to large prey like deer. In northern areas, cougars can take down reindeer and moose with a powerful bite to the base of the skull. A single cougar may be able to kill and eat nearly 50 deer every year. Okay. <laughs> and uh, predators. A cougar is an apex predator. It's at the top of the food chain with no natural enemies. Young or sick cougars may fall prey to wolves, bears, or other large predators, however. Cougars are very important within their ecosystem because they like to keep the populations of animals like deer in check. Okay. So... It sounds like um, I'm not sure if they will actually eat our jackrabbits. I'm really hoping that they will because they would be a big help if uh, they decided to do that. But we also need something to control the deer mice before they wake up and decide to munch on all of our grass. Because I know that's coming. That's the next step in this awful, awful situation. So let's get our uh, snakes in here so they can try, try <laughs> to take care of the situation. Um, we'll add a rattlesnake in here somewhere. Somewhere, if I possibly can. There we go. I think uh, the mice territories are messing with us a little bit, which is unfortunate because we can't place any snakes down if the mice won't let us. So we'll add a bunch of uh, different types of snakes in here and hopefully they'll be able to uh, control the area. Um, I believe hopefully we have something to control the snakes too because we also don't want snakes taking control at the end of the day <laughs> the uh the balance part of the game is really becoming a little bit trickier to handle the further and further we get the more creatures we have in the biome anyway so this is uh, definitely going to be interesting i thought we had this population under control but clearly not clearly i was completely wrong with my assessment of the deer mice so we will just continue trying to uh, chip away at their population. Now, I believe the badgers eat the uh, snakes. So that's why I want to place so many over here because I'm a little bit concerned that our lovely little badgers are going to decide to just completely uh, destroy all of the snakes that are helping us right now. So I placed, uh, what was it, three or four different groups of snakes in here. Um, I think that might help us. <laughs> I certainly hope so. We need to get rid of these guys. We really, really do. I mean, I regret just placing <laughs> these deer mice to begin with. Look at all of these guys swarming the place. Absolutely swarming the base of our tree. Oh my gosh. And they will be eating a giant hole in this, uh... All of this grass here, I'm sure next time we look at that, there will be no grass anymore to uh, <laughs> to feed all of our other herbivores. Um, now, if we go down to zone one, I also want to check on the deer mice over here if, uh, if they're still here. I know, oh gosh, I'm stuck on a tree. <laughs> Hopefully I can turn the camera now. There we go. Now we can turn the camera properly. So we do have deer mice over here. We have four territories, it looks like, unless there's a couple in the tree there. Um... Oh gosh, I don't like seeing this either. This is going to get out of control pretty quickly, I have a feeling. So let's place some snakes over on this side of the biome too. Just so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to place a garter snake over here as well because I believe our garter snakes may have uh, died off where we placed them last. Um, was it zone 3, I think, that we placed our garter snakes? I'm not 100% sure. Um, I would 
uh, theoretically, <laughs> like to have a biome where every single creature can work together and survive and sustain themselves. But uh, we are definitely having a little bit of trouble doing that at the moment. So fingers crossed that this is all going to work. And when we come back in the next episode, the deer mice will be a little bit more under control than they are at the current moment. But our foxes, I almost forgot about these guys. They still have uh, three juveniles here. Did they only have two before? I'm not 100% sure, but they have three juveniles now. So let's uh, let's see how these guys are doing. I'm not sure how old they are now. I think this one right here is a juvenile. Um, I don't want to look at the mushroom. I would like to look at our fox. Uh, well, this guy's being a little bit stubborn. He's uh, stuck behind the mushroom, I guess. So is there another little juvenile fox that we can click on in the area? Let's see if we can find him. That might be the juvenile fox. Um... It's 24 weeks old, so I believe it might be, maybe? <laughs> it's hard to tell, but um, our wolf is all the way over here. I didn't expect to see the wolves roaming this far, so maybe that'll actually be good for us because we know that the wolves like to eat jackrabbits. So hopefully that means that they're going to be hanging around this area to help us with this current uh, situation. <laughs> and how are our cougars doing? They're at 90% hunger right now, so I have a feeling that they're probably eating. Um, probably. <laughs> I hope so anyway, unless, unless they made it over to the other area of the biome and decided to munch on our deer. That's also a possibility. I'm not sure how far they actually go, but we'll place some mushrooms down the area too and speed up time just a little bit so we can gain our energy back at a faster rate. Let's put some more earthworms down here because with all of these deer mice, you would think the detritus levels would be a little bit higher at the moment, but um, we're still doing pretty good with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna cross my fingers that I didn't just jinx it though. <laughs> um, oh look, all of our deer are over here. Look at these guys, that guy is running so fast. He went uh, straight to the water, I think, for a nice drink. Oh, look at this guy. He's sleeping now. <laughs> Better than the last one. In uh, the last episode, we saw a little deer decide to take a nap in the water, which uh, I, I'm still a little bit concerned about. Hopefully that deer made it out okay, right? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Are those Zs in the water? Maybe they didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> mule deer. You silly, silly mule deer. You should not be sleeping in the water. Um, oh, Oh, I didn't know this. If we click on the water, we can actually see our fish population, which unfortunately is at zero. <laughs> so we're going to replenish that while we're here. That's probably a good thing to do. We'll have to remember to uh, take a look at that a little bit more often because there must be some animal here who likes to fish. Okay, so let's check in on our bison again. Let's make sure that all of our bison are happy and healthy. I see five of them. Um, were there five in a herd? Let's check that just uh, very quickly again so I know for sure that our bison aren't dying off once more to the hands, or the fangs rather, of our gray wolves. Um, okay, six bison. So one of them has already been killed off, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, I'm thinking maybe we should add another group of bison in here so they have a better chance of surviving through the month. Um, I, I might regret that decision. <laughs> Judging how our deer mice exploded, I might regret the decision to bring such a large creatures into the biome at such a high rate, but we will see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I will leave the coyote to unlock for the next episode, particularly if we're still having trouble with the deer mice. Let's see. How are our cougars doing now? Um, those are deer mice. I want to see the cougars. Those are jackrabbits. <laughs> we have so many over here. It's so hard to get to the cougars. Um, they're at 88% hunger now. I really hope that they're eating our, um, our jackrabbits. I'm pretty sure that they're not going to bother with the deer mice because it seems like the larger creatures don't really want to waste their time with such a small meal. But, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Too many deer mice. I like to see that our snakes are doing their job, though. They're already out on the prowl, it looks like. Hopefully this guy is getting ready to munch on this little uh, little deer mouse right in front of him. Hopefully. I see we have some carcasses already. There's a dead deer mouse and there's a beautiful cougar. <laughs> oh my gosh, this cougar... This cougar is beautiful, and I just saw that guy grab that little jackrabbit, so I am glad to see that. Now we know for sure that the cougars can eat jackrabbits, so that is good to see. They must be, like, completely overwhelmed by this situation right now. 
<laughs> Imagine just dropping into the middle of this forest of deer mice. They have to kind of step around all of them. It would be nice if they would just catch them. I mean, you don't have to eat them, guys. Just help me eradicate this. Did they catch one? Oh, I think they might have caught one. I, I can't click on it at the moment, but they may have actually caught a deer mouse, which is excellent if that's the case. I didn't think that they would help us with that. If only their hunger would go down a little bit faster, right? <laughs> then they could really help us um, eradicate our deer mice. But uh, at least it, it's a step in the right direction. I see that they're already munching away at all of the grass that we had on this hill. Each little blade of grass is slowly disappearing. They're popping away one by one. This is what I had to deal with um, a couple episodes back when I was testing out the new update. I, I had this exact issue where the deer mice were just slowly consuming my entire biome. And it looks like we're having that exact problem yet again. <laughs> so that's unfortunate, but at least we know that our cougars are actually helping us right now. And if they are really eating these deer mice, then they are going to have a feast on their hands, even competing with the snakes. I think uh, they're going to have quite a nice time in this biome because there are plenty of meals for them to have. And it looks like we have a notification up here. Um, a group of moths has low population, which is kind of like the least of our concerns right now, I would think. But I suppose we should make sure that our moths are properly populated because they are very important to any biome. So we don't want to uh, see them get lost in the masses here. We'll place a uh, group right next to our lovely deer mice and hope that they don't get consumed in the process. And uh, which zone was that actually in? Zone three. This is where our frogs live. So I'm not surprised to see that our, uh, our moths are dying off at the moment. But thankfully our frogs are now under control. We had some trouble with them as well in um, a previous episode where they were eating all of our insects and they were just getting out of control. But now we've narrowed it down to just one group and I know not to place <laughs> three groups of frogs anymore. I think that's my problem. I get so excited over these new animals that I just place as many as I possibly can. And then I regret it instantly <laughs> because they just start to take over, which um, is kind of uh, kind of familiar, isn't it? As I place these big herds of uh, buffalo around the area, bison rather. Um, yeah, yeah, we may have another problem on our hands later, but we'll, we'll, we'll say it, it'll probably be okay, right? <laughs> it'll probably be okay. We'll think positive on this one. So I think in the next episode, assuming that everything goes well in our biome, what we'll do is we'll unlock um, the coyote over here and we'll find a nice place to pop our little coyote and hope that he can <laughs> sustain himself as well. Um, hopefully coyotes like to eat deer mice too, especially if the cougars can't completely control this entire group over here. And all of the snakes that we placed down too, I hope they're helping. It seems like they probably are. If they were uh, starving, then we would, uh, we'd probably know by now. <laughs> it has been quite a while. So hopefully, hopefully when you come back, you will see that all of these deer mice have left the area and we have nothing to worry about anymore <laughs> hopefully so we'll end out today with a view of our lovely cougars on the prowl once more thank you guys so much for watching today and i will see you all next time bye